Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I am your mathematics tutor, Mr. Gitao Steven. In this video, I'll take you through the first five questions in KCSE Mathematics Paper 1 of the year 2022. And in the first part, we shall look at the first five questions of KCSE Paper 1 2022. Straight away, let us move to question number one. In this year, 2022, question number one was a question that tested on forming a quadratic equation and later on solving it. Um, the question reads, solve for n, given uh, 6n divided by n minus 1 is equal to 25 all over n. How do we go about this kind of a question? Always learners, let us um, take care of our space. You divide your space into two so that you have ample space to show your working. The first step is cross multiplication. We cross multiply such that we get a 6n multiplied by n, giving you 25 multiplied by n minus 1. Second step, we open up the brackets that will give us 6n squared is equal to 25 n minus 25. We put the terms on one side so that we develop a quadratic equation, a proper quadratic equation, and that gives us 6n squared minus 25 add 25 is equal to 0. At this point, we ask ourselves, which two numbers will give us a product of 6 by 25, that is 150, and a sum of negative 25. Have you asked one minute to get those two numbers whose product is 150 and whose sum is negative 25? I believe you got them. These numbers are negative 15 and negative 10, negative 15 and negative 10. These two, we substitute them uh, in the equation whereby we replace the middle term, negative 25 n, and that gives us that 6 n squared uh, minus 15 n minus 10 n plus 25 is equal to 0. So we factorize by grouping. What is the common number in 6 n squared and in 15 n squared? We realize there we have 3 n. 3 n is common, so we factor it out and we are left with 2 n in the brackets, uh, subtract, Factoring 3n out of 15n, we are left with a 5. We go to the second group that has negative 10n and 25. What is the common value in those two? We find we have a negative 5 into, we get 2n. Uh, here we have to be very careful. The negative outside the bracket should be accompanied by a negative inside the bracket so that we get a 5, such that negative 5 by negative 5 is positive 25, that gives us a 0. So we get the factors as 3n uh, minus 5, we close the bracket, let me fix that one,
3n minus 5. I, I close the bracket and the other part gives us 2n minus 5. And we close the bracket there. This is equal to 0. So in the first part of this answer, we have 3n minus 5 is equal to 0. And that gives us 3n is equal to 5. That means dividing both sides by 3 gives us n is equal to 5 over 3, which we show in mixed form as 1 and 2 over 3. 1 and 2 over 3.